Hey guys, I'm Gustavo and this is Paranoid Android in 2017. Most of you are probably already familiarized with Paranoid Android. But for those of you who aren't, Paranoid Android or AOSPA is a custom ROM that used to be really popular. But then OnePlus hired some of its developers and AOSPA wasn't updated in a while. But after a comeback in 2016, Paranoid Android is back at it again with new builds of its ROM based on Android 7.1.2. I used to love AOSPA, but last year I didn't have any compatible device. So this year, I thought I would give it a try, and here's my experience with it. The ROM reminded me a lot of Oxygen OS, which is a good thing since I really enjoy it. The wallpapers from both ROMs are even from the same creator, and I must say that they look really nice. AOSPA is really similar to stock Android, making it really fast, but with some more features such as the quick pulldown, which I enjoyed most of the times, but got annoying after a while. Maybe if it was on the other side of the notification bar, I would have preferred it. As it is, I ended up disabling it. There are also the Pi controls, which were redesigned and look better than ever, and actually made someone like me, who never uses Pi controls, to try them and use them for a while. When it comes to theming, Paranoid Android supports Substratum and now has a color engine, which was what I used during the time I had this ROM. Besides that, there are also some device specific things like off screen gestures and alert slider customization for OnePlus devices. There is also an improved camera for the OnePlus 3 and 3T, but I actually found it to be on par with Oxygen OS's camera. Sometimes the results in AOSPA come out better than in Oxygen OS, and the other times Oxygen OS takes the lead. I only took one comparison picture for the two ROMs, but you can see that they're really neck to neck, but considering AOSPA is a custom ROM, the team did a really good job. Although the results are really good, a camera should always be ready, and after a first or second day of use, all pictures just came out green or the media server died, which made me install another camera app. After more than a month of use, I came back to Oxygen OS. Not only because it has more features, but also because AOSPA bricked out of nowhere. I wasn't even flashing anything, it just decided that it was no more. And so, I think it comes to this. There are better ROMs out there, but if you want to feel some nostalgia, flash AOSPA. It's still a great ROM, and even though it doesn't have Over anymore, which would make me recommend it to everyone, it's really fast, which is what a custom ROM should be. If you would like to see some more Paranoid Android, subscribe to my channel, since I used to love it so much that I'll probably flash anything they release. 